Yes, you are live at GMEB TV. I would like to ask you some information, sorry, uh, questions regarding this day today. Uh, today, the Gambia celebrates her 59th Independent Day, and we have seen people from different uh, houses, different political beliefs here to make sure that this day is celebrated. What impression do you have today to tell the Gambians? Um, I greet each and every one of you, and especially the wonderful viewers out there. Um, the impression I have in this year's independence, if you look at the activities that precedes the, the celebrations today, like the national dialogue, this is something um, that we all applaud, it is something welcoming, and it is something definitely that we need to applaud the president for the initiative. As a nation, we come together, despite our political difference, we come together and make sure we discuss towards um, our nation. We discuss and put a way forward, especially in the aspect of bringing recommendations as to how we want our nation to be. That is a great impression. And looking at the, 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 the high table, people of different political backgrounds were all seated, they were all uh, laughing together, chatting, and this, this source us how united we should be as a nation. Despite our political difference, we cannot all support a, a, a single political party, but it's important that when we meet as citizens, we embrace each other and cherish each other. This is why we are celebrating the 59th anniversary of our nationhood. As a teacher, uh, what message do you have to your fellow teachers to make so that to end so development within this country? Um, my, 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 my message would, to the teachers out there is that let all be patriotic and let's all see the profession as us. Let's love the field that we the work that we do. We cherish it. By so doing, we will be able to give our best to these kids that are very, very innocent in our class. Despite the challenges that we have as teachers, let's put all those ones aside and look at the future of this country. We are the only people that we call that calls ourselves as teachers. So we are we should be the people that make sure that we inculcate that discipline and the academic excellence in those children. We don't only take the tests that's to pass. We don't only take them how to pass the exams, but equally we take them moral values. We take them patriotism. We make them better citizens as far as our country is concerned. So I'm asking all you teachers to really give their best in their classrooms. As teachers are giving their best, what message do you have for the government to support teachers in the Gambia? I am telling the government to make sure that let them stop saying teaching is a noble profession. We do not only need the nobleness in it, but equally our pockets. We need something heavy in our pockets. So government should really make sure that the plight of the teachers should be well looked at, looked at and our welfare should be something that they should actually consider. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.